Welcome to our session on group discussion. It is an important aspect of any selection process. And the way we navigate through the topics suggests our intellectual capacity and our response to a particular situation. GDs could be topic specific or they could be case based. And both of them would require different treatment. When the group discussion is topic specific, we need to bear certain things in mind. A particular topic would bring into our minds immediate responses. And in order to avoid someone else from presenting the ideas that has been triggered in our minds, we need to start early. Because normally what happens is, when somebody says or brings forth a particular idea, there are two to three other person who would say, yes, yes, I meant to say that. Oh yes, I was also thinking about the same idea. You were thinking about the same idea. You meant to say that. But it has already been said by someone else. And therefore, start early when something hits you. Immediately let the group know about it. Another very important thing is, do not speak unless you have something substantial to say. Let us suppose it is a topic about which you do not know much. And you have not had the time to Google it as well. So what do you do then? What I suggest is, wait for some of the other group members to talk about it. The initiator would have already spoken about the topic and explained the topic to the group members. And then the other group members, maybe two to three of them, would have spoken about the topic. So now what you could do is garner material from them, think about it, and then come up with something which might contribute to the group. This is important in a topic specific GD. However, when the case is about a case study, what should be done? For a case study, they would definitely give you some time period. It wouldn't be a 10 minute kind of a period wherein you would have to go and participate in a group discussion. So, over there it is important to explore and understand from different angles. There is no excuse. You have to understand the pros and cons. You have to come out with alternative courses of actions. Because once you understand, you need to come up with a result, with a conclusion, with a decision. Now, in a group discussion, which is based on a case study, they just don't want a conclusion. They also want to see how you have arrived at it. There has to be an implementation plan. You cannot end up by saying, this could be done. How could that be done would also contribute to this particular format. And then, if you give them a contingency plan as well, that would be like an icing. What do I mean by a contingency plan? Whenever you are given a group discussion and if they have not talked about the finances or maybe the environmental concerns, what you could do is if you feel there could be an environmental concern or there could be some financial constraints later, you could take that into consideration and come up with a contingency plan as well. So now you have given a wholesome response to a group discussion which is based on a case study. Friends, group discussion is an art and we must abide by certain rules which it tries to purport which is let every member talk 
take their concern because when you are working on a case study, their inputs will definitely work for the benefit of the company. When you are talking on the group, on the topic based also, it will give a wider platform to the discussion. On that note, always remember group discussion is for the group, wherein you must make a mark. Thank you.